our norms, our values, and our existence. But prior to what I have to share with all of you regarding Black Day, uh, I will strongly, I strongly condemn the attack in Bishar in which children are chosen again in a religious school, madrasa, as target. This reflects the cowardly mi mindset of our enemies and this attack is nothing but to divert attention from Black Day. Ladies and gentlemen, Choi uh, Saab, I have two options. One is to go through what I have brought along and the second is what I have in my heart. So I believe heart-to-heart -heart interaction will be more meaningful. Ladies and gentlemen, my approach will be multilingual. And we need to make our youth realize first, especially our people, that what Black Day means. When we talk of Kashmir as a whole, 19 July 1947 is a day which signifies and which shows the commitment of all the top-notch leadership of then. They decided that we will go for Pakistan and we will become a part of Pakistan. Sardar Ibrahim Saab's residence is a proof of that. And all the top leadership, irrespective of different political backgrounds, they then and there decided 25 days earlier because Pakistan came into being on the 14th of August. That was a clear message. And now Indians, they, on the 22nd, they celebrated Black Day and they blamed again, as usual, Pakistan. But reality is that the turning point, all those who matter the most, they need to realize that 19th of July was a clear message to the entire global community and to all those who matter the most, that the people of illegally Indian-occupied Kashmir their leadership decided then and there that we'll be part and parcel of Pakistan. Now, since 74 years, what we have witnessed and the way humanity has been bullied, we all need to understand that why UN and all the global key stakeholders remain silent. These are the questions which the prosperous world and the new UN, the so-called messiahs of humanity and the so-called champions of human rights, those who initiated multiple approaches to make the globe realize the importance of humanity, they themselves are undermining humanity. For example, Millennium Development Goals, is what, it was an initiative to make the globe realize that the world need to give, start giving more importance to anything related to humanity in this globe. And now, 17-point agenda, sustainable development goals, where they are again trying to convey a message to the, every stakeholder of this globe that you need to be more responsible. But I believe one thing which is missing, that is that they unable somehow realize the importance of humanity. Because when we talk of the people of illegal Indian occupied Kashmir, Forget about their faith, forget about their norms and values. The first and most important thing, immense importance from humanity perspective is that they are humans first. And they are being deprived of everything. And let me give you a few examples. Ladies and gentlemen, since 448 to 49 days, the way they have been treated, it is something which was, it was never ever experienced, especially after 1945, after UN. Prior to 1945, we have multiple examples. And one example which I would like to give to you is the way Jews were treated, the way they were thrown behind those concentration camps, and they were when humanity pleaded and bleeded at all level. 
that approach should have been taken very seriously. But what Modi and the fascist Indian government is doing with humanity by initiating Citizenship Amendment Act, by initiating domicile law, the way they, are, they have come up with UAPA law, and fourth and most important, the demographic changes through which they want to change the overall approach. Now, this is something which the UN and the prosperous world and those who matter the most, the so-called movers and shakers of this globe, they should have taken notice of that. Udar bhi baat nahi roki. Aur phir, sab se khatarnaak alarming cheez. Ke ghar wapsi program. Imagine, in today's world, the second largest economy, population-wise, market-wise, then the largest democratic country in the world, the largest so-called secular state, and they consider and call themselves as rising and shining India. They are asking and forcing the people, especially the minorities of India, to go back to your roots. You were Hindus, you were Brahmins. Now either convert or leave this motherland. Which sort of messaging they are trying to convey? And the whole world needs to know, especially those who matter the most, UNHCR, United Nations, we have got Saad, Sava Saad Karod, Mahajareen, Dunia Mein, refugees. And out of them, 85% are be taken care by the third world. Dunia Mein, 1 crore, 20 lakh stateless hai. And now, Jab hum population dekhe, minorities ki, India Mein, Ye karodo log kahan jayenge? And, if the world remains silent again, who will be responsible for this? Another most important thing the world needs to understand that after League of, especially after the failure of Versailles Treaty and the failure of League of Nations, the world should have realized every, that every state needs to be given due importance and the root causes needs to be addressed. But what we witnessed in recent past what happened between Armenia and Azerbaijan. What happened? Who suffered? Humanity suffered. And prior to that, when we talk of all those states who had gone through misery, especially the Persian Gulf, and even what we have witnessed of late in, in our region, the way Indians treated Nepal, and prior to that, the way Indians treated their own neighbors, and the way Indians have been treating their own minorities, why the world and those who are given this right to address these issues are, have become silent spectators. So, aaj, and we have decide if they are not willing to take that issue seriously because they, are, they have their own interest, then it is our collective responsibility as a responsible state to make the globe and those who matter the most, we need to realize them. The importance of their role and responsibility and, and above all, we need to make them realize that Kashmir is a flashpoint. And if we include Russia in this region, half of the global population exists in this region. And with four countries who have got nuclear deterrence, Russia, China, India and Pakistan, what does it show? It means that the world, either those who are responsible are not taking this issue seriously or they are still living in a fool's paradise. They are not taking this issue seriously, whereas an individual who, whose party's sole objective, RSS's sole objective is to minorities and they consider themselves as ultra supernatural human beings and they want to dictate in such a manner where they become more prominent and dominant not only in this region unka maqsad ye ke is tamam khitte ko apne control mein aur command mein kiya jaye 
تو اگر اس میں بھی دنیا خاموش ہے تو پھر ایک اور چیز دنیا کو بتانے کے لیے کہ وین وی ٹاک آف ہیومن دا پروسپریس ورلڈ گیو مور امپورٹینس ٹو ویمن چلڈرن اگین واٹ از ہیپننگ ود ویمن ان انلیگل انڈین آکوپائڈ ان انٹائر انڈیا اسپیشلی چلڈرن دے ہیو تھرون مور دین سکسٹین پیپل فرام اسٹارٹنگ فرام دی ایج آف فائیو ٹل تھرٹی فائیو ان کانسنٹریشن کیمپس تھاؤزینڈ آف چلڈرن اینڈ بوائز اینڈ گرلز آر مسنگ پرزر آف کانشیس ویمن آسیہ اینڈ درابی از اے کلاسک ایگزامپل ڈاکٹر قاسم فتو دا لسٹ از سو لانگ اگین مائی کوشچن از دیٹ یو آر دا ونز ہو آر ٹیلنگ دس انٹائر گلوب دیٹ بی مور ریسپانسبل And let me give one more example. When Syrian refugees were migrating, I hope they haven't forgotten that. One picture conveyed a loud and clear message to the entire globe. Jab Sile Samandar pe ek bachche ki laash padi thi. Usne bhi inko nahi jagaya. So aaj Pakistan dunia se keh raha hai ki we want cordial relation with india we value humanity as a responsible state we are trying our level best and we have been sacrificing at all levels we have fought the biggest war on earth against all sort of extremism and terrorism we played a pivotal role first line of defense against all sorts of drug 85 percent all sorts of drug are manufactured in afghanistan and out of 85 percent 50 percent ون وے دی ادر تھری ڈیور ان لائن یوز ٹو انٹر پاکستان اینڈ دین دنیا کے اور کونوں میں جاتا تھا وی میڈ اے نارمل سیکریفائس دیر پیس کیپنگ فورس آر اون پیپل بیکیم آئی ڈی پیز انٹرنلی ڈسپلیس پرسنس دا فرسٹ لائن آف ڈیفینس دا بیک بون آف دس مدر لینڈ آف آرز دا ٹرائبلس دیر لوڈ ونس وا فورس ٹو لیو فار ہوم فار گلوبل پیس اینڈ فار دی انٹائر ہیومینٹی ایون ٹو ڈے We are sacrificing every day our law enforcing agencies and our civilians are sacrificing for whom not for Pakistan but for the entire globe again they are silent and all we hear from them is do more and every now and then they come up with the new initiatives and the new initiative of late which we have witnessed financial action task force compare it with India what they've been doing why they are again their lips are sealed and they are thinking as if nothing will happen so the message from islamabad to all those who matter the most please we request you for the sake of humanity and for your own future interest and for your own generation for your own loved ones kashmir is a flash point you need to understand the importance of this and god forbid god forbid If you are unable to understand the value and the importance of this particular issue, then the entire global future will be at stake. My Prime Minister reminded that after, in 2019, after Indians revoked 35A and 370 from Indian constitution. Demographic changes. The President of Azad Kashmir, the Prime Minister of Azad Kashmir, all the stakeholders of Azad Kashmir, even the parliamentarians kashmiri diaspora they are asking the kashmir committee me and my team my prime minister they are, they are expecting that something needs to be done immediately to stop demographic changes the way indians have been bringing people from all over india so in the end what i would emphasize on is that is it is up to us now these think tanks the you are the chosen and blessed ones we as a nation the government is committed to expose india and we have been raising it at all level security council human rights committees and now we have identi identified 22 different global forums we will reach out to them we have started engaging academia we have started working on cultural front we have come up with an approach where now civil society will play a pivotal role at the highest level in all those forums 
we have started engaging all the parliaments parliamentary forums will be used and in joint collaboration with ministry of foreign affairs we are working on multiple plans and the sole objective is through parliamentary democracy we need to make the whole world realize the importance of kashmir issue and especially this black day this black day is not only observed in pakistan or in any other corner of the globe where the kashmiri or pakistani diaspora lives it is observed right in the heart of indian illegal occupied kashmir in spite of all the atrocities they are committed they are not giving up they are not they have sacrificed everything and they are willing to go an extra yard so now it is up to us that we need to become one and let me convey a clear message from here that when it comes to the national interest and the national security issues of india the whole indian nation becomes one and which sort of messaging we are giving off late from here so we need to be more responsible no compromise on national interest and especially national security issues and as a responsible state it is our collective responsibility because kashmir committee represents both the houses senate and national assembly and as kashmir committee has a huge responsibility and let me assure you ladies and gentlemen especially afzal khan sahab that the sole objective of the kashmir committee was to knock at the door of all those who matter the most and especially take people like you on board and then do the needful but unfortunately covid ne hamare liye bahut sare masail paida kiye webinar aur mukhtalif tarikon se we are trying to but physical presence and the way we should have ki kisi ek professional hardcore professional approach ki tarah jis tarah hona chahiye tha wo abhi missing hai but let me assure you prime minister ke directives ye hain ki kashmir committee effective tarike se kaam kare tamam stakeholders ko saath leke jaye aur mera aakhir mein let me concluded in my mother tongue is tarah ki ye ho hi nahi sakta ki aap qurbani de aur allah aapko reward na de ye ho hi nahi sakta ye mera imaan hai ये हो ही नहीं सकता कि माओ के बेटे जवानों को पाकिस्तान के जंडल में दफनाएं ये हो ही नहीं सकता कि हाफ विडोस थाउजेंड्स में हो ये हो ही नहीं सकता कि पैलेट गन्स के साथ क्या हुआ हो उन बच्चे और बच्चियों की जिंदगियों के साथ अपाहिज माजूर हो ही नहीं सकता कि पढ़ा लिखा बच्चा असला हो जाए ये हो ही नहीं सकता अनप्रेसिडेंटेड इन ह्यूमन हिस्ट्री के आपने अस्सी लाख इंसानों को ओवरऑल एक सवा करोड़ लोगों को आपने 9 लाख फौजों के कब्जे में दे दिया और उनके पास सुई तक नहीं है कि अपने आप को डिफेंड कर सकें एंड उसके बावजूद उनको मारा जा रहा है और वो सरेंडर नहीं कर रहे इसके बावजूद कि 27, 28, 28, 28 साल जेलों में वो कैदों बंद हैं उनको रोजाना क्या क्या ऑफर्स नहीं दी जाएंगी और वो सिर्फ और सिर्फ अपनी औलादों को और प्यारों को यह कहते हैं कि दिस इज अ टेस्टिंग टाइम स्टे फर्म डोंट कॉम्प्रोमाइज and that day we will witness very soon and let me assure you allah wohi allah hai jo ibrahim alai salam ko aag mein bachata hai allah wohi allah hai jo yusuf alai salam ko kuye mein yunus alai salam ko machli ke pet mein the commitment needs to be shown as a nation we need to be more committed now aur hame proactive diplomatic initiatives ke alawa political key stakeholders ke sath milkar global forums pe aur wo tamam added jitni bhi एरियाज हैं जिससे हम दुनिया के अटेंशन को डाइवर्ट कर सकते हैं सो द नेक्स्ट टारगेट ऑफ आर जिस चौधरी साहब हार्वर्ड ऑक्सफर्ड ईटन टॉप नॉच यूनिवर्सिटीज क्योंकि दुनिया में नैरेटिव बिल्डिंग या मीडिया करती है या यूनिवर्सिटीज करती है वी विल रीच आउट टू देम और कल्चरल फ्रंट पे इन शाह वी आर वर्किंग इन वेरी सोन यू विल सी अ डिफरेंट इनिशियटिव पीटीवी की अप्रोच वो अब नहीं रहेगी जो कि एक खास सोच के साथ है inshallah future belongs to this to the people of this region future belong to inshallah the people of illegal indian occupied kashmir and i might sound odd shayad aap mein se bahut sare log ya meri awaaz ja ja rahi ho mera mazak uda le soviet union classic example hai kisi ki wild imagination mein nahi tha the what modi has done very soon you will witness india will disintegrate 
and inshallah 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 this motherland of our will survive and the kashmiris will be inshallah inshallah free and free in such a manner where they will live a normal life just like ordinary humans long live humanity long live pakistan and once again i'm extremely grateful to all of you thank you so much